over three minutes and counting since the uh, Soyuz entered into the plasma phase at an altitude of just under 50 miles. All of the search and recovery helicopters on their way to the landing zone. Knowing what the outcomes can be, I mean, you're confident we're going to land and it's going to be great, but you know that there's always some other things that we just don't really talk about or think about, but they're back there. They're, they're back in your mind. And then there is a time the Soyuz capsule is coming back through the atmosphere that we lose calm and we don't, no one knows where the capsule is exactly. The Soyuz spacecraft is essentially on a controlled plunge from orbit to the surface of the Earth in Kazakhstan. Every foot it moves closer to the ground gives a better idea of exactly what that landing point will be. It's a constant feedback loop between mission control, the forces in the air, the forces on the ground, and the spacecraft itself. Refining, triangulating, adjusting, hoping to meet at the same spot, at the same moment, on the surface of the Earth. And we're right at about three hours since the vehicle undocked from the International Space Station. It's expected to exit from this plasma uh, phase. At that point, the crew will experience it, its maximum G loads, about four to five times Earth's normal gravity. The SAR teams do have visual of the capsule, the Soyuz craft descending under parachutes. Суп он поговорил, дали координаты парашюта, получается за кладбищем. Все, по матрешкам. The search and recovery forces moving in on the Russian MI-8 helicopters as well as all-terrain vehicles. All 
the recovery personnel from NASA and Roscosmos converging out there in Kazakhstan. And we just got our confirmation. The capsule landed, the one-year crew back down on planet Earth. time. Yeah. Air is great. I don't know why you guys are all bundled up. <laughs> You're gonna feel it in a minute. <laughs> You have to consider that Scott and Misha have been in a completely controlled, completely predictable environment for the last 12 months. Now they're back on Earth and everything changes. They face a storm of now unfamiliar experiences. The smells are different, the sounds are different, the wind is different. Most important, gravity is different. Their muscles will ache, their joints will ache, their skin will burn, and they are uncertain about what the long-term health and medical consequences of their year in space might be. It's not only the physical readjustment, it's the mental readjustment and the emotional readjustment when you're becoming a part of your terrestrial life again. Every pointillistic detail that makes up a life on Earth has to be relearned after a year off of the Earth.
<laughs> oh, man, that feels good. Welcome home. Oh. Back to us. Uh, I wanted to do that for a whole year. <laughs> <laughs> 